Hi guys, Rob from Rob's Model Cars and today's short video I'm going to show you why it's basically impossible to uh, remove the auto art wheel uh, from its molded in hub. Now there's a, quite a few guys on the forum that have been asking uh, how to do it um, and I had this spare set of Lamborghini Aventador wheels that I wasn't going to use so I thought I'd have a bit of an exploration and find out why you cannot pull these wheels apart. Now, if you try and get a set of pliers and grab it on the back, um, you will just break the plastic parts. Um, these wheels are attached very well um, onto the disc brakes. Um, so this was the first one. So this was a front. So what I did, um, just to find out what was going on, uh, I basically cut uh, the knuckle of the back hub off to see if I could see anything. Um, now there was a little bit of metal in the middle here like a pin so I thought what I might do is try and drill out the center cap of the wheel. So I used a 1 8 drill bit, uh, drilled through the Lamborghini center cap and found that I hit the metal pin. Now as soon as the drill bit hit that middle metal pin um, it went off in different directions and basically destroyed the center of the wheel. So that was the first step. Okay, there's a, there's a metal a metal pin uh, holding the hub uh, to the wheel. So now we sort of know what's going on there. Now the second one, uh, you can see here between the two, I've ground a lot of the plastic away from the back of the hub here and I have found the back of the metal pin. So obviously uh, you're not going to get that out very easily and you've already destroyed the back half of the hub anyway. Um, you can see the brake road is just hanging on there. I'll actually break that out now. Um, so that's that can move around. That's actually uh, hooking around the front side of the brake rotor. Now I've actually tried to put some uh, multi-grips, some miniature pliers onto this pin and try and pull it out. Uh, I had no luck, no luck at all. It's in there so tight into the back of the wheel um, that you've had to destroy the whole back of the hub here just to try and get it out. So the next wheel I used, this was a back wheel. Now you can see here that I used some uh, cutters and I cut through the spokes just to remove the wheel because I'm not going to use these anyway, they're just a spare so um, we'll throw those away. Now you can see what I've done here, this was a back wheel, it was actually, uh, this pin was actually moulded into uh, the rear axle joiner um, so that, that piece there, that little pin, uh, was moulded into the plastic. So uh, obviously that's moulded into the plastic part first uh, and then the wheels are pushed on at a later stage. So if you could get to this part, you may be able to pull it out. Um, but I tried that also and it didn't work. So it's obviously a push pin assembly in there very very tight still rotates there um, but yeah basically I cannot get that out so the fourth step as you can see I've tried to tried several times that was the the one where the wheel was pulled apart I've put some pliers onto that and tried to hold the back with a set of pliers on the pin and pull pull the front of the wheel out uh, the pin did come out, so this is actually the pin. Now I think that's the same between the front and the rear axles, but to get that pin out, you've basically got to destroy the back hub behind the rotor, and you've got to destroy the wheel as well. So in short, I guess there's no real way um, to save a set of auto art wheels and the brake rotors and the molded in hub on the back and use that on another model. Um, at this stage, 
you're pretty much just left with parts. So um, I couldn't get the wheel off the front here. Maybe that was because of the heat with the Dremel that the plastic has fused into the rotor. Um, so I may just try and cut the front of this off and reuse these discs. Uh, and the other thing you can reuse is the Lamborghini calipers. These are the auto art ones. Uh, maybe you can use those on another model, repaint them uh, and use the auto art brake rotors for another project as well. Um, if auto art can get in touch with me and explain to me an easier way or, or just any way to remove these wheels, um, I'll be sure to pass it on to you guys. Um, but that is my short video on how you cannot remove auto art wheels from the hubs without damaging them. So I hope uh, this video has been informative for uh, all you custom builders out there that have never been able to pull auto art wheels and hubs apart without severely damaging them. Um, and that will explain why. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. Uh, please click the like button and uh, stay tuned for more how-to videos and new model reviews. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.